Can you see this beautiful RNG workspace behind me? In reality, it's fake. In this video, I will show you how to create a similar background quickly and for free using an online background generation service and the CapCut video editor. Let's get right to it. The first step is to make a video with our participation. You can film with a phone or a camera. This is not important, but that is important is to set the right lighting. In addition to the main source that illuminates us, ideally add one more. For example, on this side I place a regular RGB panel, pointing it toward myself at this part of the face, and this will greatly help us create a more natural video, since we will select the background based on the lighting of the person in the frame. If you don't have an RGB lamp, then you can point some kind of lamp at yourself, or even put the TV on, turning up the maximum brightness and setting a color image on the screen saver. This is an option, of course. The next step is we go to the website for generating backgrounds. The link to it will be in the description. This is my affiliate link. Register and click on the Launch App button. And then click on the Create New Image button. In this line, we enter approximately the following text and set the settings as you now see on the screen. Press the button Generate Video. The service generated several images for us to choose from. I have tried different options, but a dark neon style background works best when placed behind the person to make it look as natural as possible. However, you can try to generate other images by changing the text. Fortunately, you have 150 free credits for this and you can easily experiment. I will download this picture because it has a light source on the right and it will go well with the fact that a light source with the same color shade also falls on my face. In the next step, we open the CapCut video editor and add this picture there, as well as our filmed video. Drag them onto the timeline in the order I show, select the video with the talking head, go to the Cutting tab and turn on Auto Cut. Change the aspect ratio to 16 to 9. Next, we can move the background image a little to make the composition of the frame more harmonious. We can also slightly adjust the brightness and other color settings for the main video and also for the background picture. Again, we select the settings so that in your case all this is combined as much as possible. Stretch the background image to the full length of video. And the final touch. Go to the Effects tab. In the chapter Lens, search the Blur effect and drag this onto the background image. With the blur settings we create depth of field as if separating the person from the background. This little blur effect, the right lighting, the correct placement of the background under the object, all these little nuances make the video closer to the real thing, so try to repeat them all. I hope the video was useful to you, if so, then subscribe to the channel and like it. Go ahead and create. See you.